Harry couldn't get away his crime. People urge Duke to stop teach about mental health as unqualified. Prince Harry has come under fire for his recent comments about resignations benefiting mental health, prompting one royal commentator to claim the Duke isn't qualified to comment on the matter. The Duke of Sussex, 37, recently took part in a Q&A with Fast Company, a U.S. business magazine. While discussing his role as chief impact officer with California-based mental health startup BetterUp, Harry spoke about a mental health awakening that has seen droves of people quit their jobs in order to prioritize their happiness and mental health. During the interview, which was published on Monday, the Duke addressed the increasing number of resignations witnessed following the COVID-19 pandemic. Prince Harry said issues such as increased burnout and people wanting to quit their jobs had been brought to the forefront during this period, but had been brewing for quite some time. He added, we're just at the beginning of the mental health awakening. This work on mental health has never been more important because people are finally paying attention, and a big component of this mission is building awareness and continuing to pioneer the conversation. On numerous occasions in the past, the Duke has opened about his own mental health struggles, particularly how the tragic and sudden death of his mother Princess Diana impacted him. In 2017, as part of a campaign to raise awareness of mental health issues, Harry said, I can safely say that losing my mum at the age of 12, and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years, has had a quite serious effect on not only my personal life but my work as well. He added, I thought that thinking of her was only going to make me sad and not going to bring her back. So from an emotional side, I was, like, right, don't ever let your emotions be part of anything. He also spoke about his mother's death earlier this year, as part of a mental health docu-series entitled The Me You Can't See that he produced with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey. In the series, he said he did not process his mother's death because he felt so angry at what had happened, a feat that led him to seek help from a therapist. While Harry has received much praise for his mental health campaigning one royal commentator lashed out at the Duke following his recent interview. Commentator Jonathan Sacerdotti claimed that while Harry has previously spoken out about his own mental health battles and has sought help from a mental health professional, it does not make him qualified to pioneer the conversation on the topic. Mr. Sacerdotti told Express.co.uk, he talks of the mental health awakening as if mental health and psychology are somehow new discoveries. He may personally be adjusting to a newfound awareness of mental illness and trying to achieve happiness but his talk of wanting to pioneer the conversation just sounds a bit flat. As far as I know he isn't qualified or trained in the field of psychology or psychotherapy. Mr. Sacerdotti, who is a regular contributor to The Spectator added, you might say that being a patient doesn't make one an effective or knowledgeable doctor. Harry and his wife Meghan had also previously stated that their mental health was one of the main reasons for their step away from the royal family. Meghan opened up about her suicidal thoughts during her time in the royal family during the couple's interview with Oprah Winfrey back in March. She said, look, I was really ashamed to say it at the time and ashamed to have to admit it to Harry especially, because I know how much loss he has suffered, but I knew that if I didn't say it, then I would do it. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. Following their step away from duties early last year, the couple moved to California where they lead a financially independent lifestyle, with their two children, six-month-old Lilibet and Archie, too. The couple has since signed lucrative deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, in addition to continuing philanthropic efforts through the charitable arm of their Archul Foundation. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, a new trend has developed in the Western countries, especially in the United States, where employees are voluntarily leaving their job to focus on their mental health. The phenomenon has been termed as great resignation. Prince Harry is happy to see this new development. The Duke of Sussex also spoke about the need to celebrate the great resignation as leaving a miserable job is good for one's mental health. Harry, who stepped down from his royal duties last year, made the remark during his recent interview with Fast Company magazine. He also reckoned that the job resignation during the pandemic aren't all bad before adding that it is a sign that self-awareness comes with the need for change.